What's up guys, it's the Mac Boy, aka the Beagle Typer here with another video where today this is the first the Mac Boy video I'm filming with my camera and the first video I'm filming after I hit a hundred subscribers. Thank you guys all for a hundred subscribers. I really appreciate it and you know how much that means to me. And maybe I'll start supercar shopping soon. Uh I'm not meaning an actual supercar. I'm talking about the just like a tiny one or maybe like a Hummer Hummer H1. I'm not sure. But today, as you see in the title, we're talking about the new Ford Raptor and the new CT5V Blackwing, which is super duper sick. And I think we should start with the CT5V Blackwing because it's not as exciting as the new Ford Raptor. But the CT5V Blackwing just came out and Amelia Hartford made a video about it and took it around the track. It was super duper cool. Sounded super great. It's the last manual and V8 Cadillac is going to produce. So we have to save the chance to see one of those and just talk about it. And I expect it out too. So maybe you guys would love to see what it looks like. So this is the Cadillac CT5V, which is my dream track of it. And this is a rear wheel drive V series black wing because I wanted the black wing and this car can literally just drift around the place, which is super duper cool. And uh, Emilia Hartford, I think she's going to get one. I'm not so sure, but the uh, standard vehicle price is 83995 I got electric blue with sky coat blade gray and jet black accents and semi aniline leather seats. So as you can see, the, the uh, what you call it, the electric blue looks a lot like the uh, rapid blue on the C8 Corvette. And it looks pretty darn sick, as you can see right here, because I don't know, it, it's just a cool sedan to have as a daily driver. And this car is actually pretty powerful. I think makes more than 500 horsepower. We got the car, two carbon fiber packs. And this car will make a great track car and make a good race car at the same time. So if you want to have like an all-around car but you don't want a Tesla, this is the perfect car for it. And you can also like take it to car shows and you wouldn't get laughed at. And which is pretty darn cool. And we have accessories. We only have a vehicle care kit. And we have all the packages that we could have. But there's a lot of safety packages that we didn't have. For example, the uh, adaptive cruise control, the remote. Even this car doesn't even have a remote start because of the manual, but this is the last manual Cadillac's going to make. So since th this is the last manual, uh, why not just just get the manual? Why not the t you don't get the 10-speak automatic because this is just way better than it is supposed to be. So that is what I needed to say about this car. This is a perfect all-around car if you're looking to buy one of these. And it is super cool. It has a V8 in it. And it's a cool American car that you can just drive around. And people, will, like, you can look pretty rich in that thing. But it's kind of expensive at the same time. A 106765 If you want to, like, get the same spec as I do. But, like, I saved a lot of man money with the six-speed manual transmission. Yes, so that is it for the CT5V Blackwing. Today I'm sounding a little bit like Dragon Typer on Nitro Type because I, I really don't know. But I should really start rambling like I always do more. But today I, I feel like a good day. So maybe we should just try to make videos a little bit more formal at this time. But this is the new Ford Raptor. And I have finally made a dream spec of this car and it, the configurator finally came out and styling wise I think this car looks super duper sick in this color and uh and all the options I chose with it there is 
the, the but this car looks kind of like the old one so probably you guys should wait for the raptor r which is going to come out with a supercharged v8 which you guys are really going to like because it goes head to head with the ram rx wait for me okay i am you I'm sorry, but I ate a little too much. So, okay. This is the Ram TRX, as you guys know it, and it is mind-blowing. It has over 700 horsepower, and you can literally just drive it anywhere. And it goes super-duper fast. It goes for 0 to 60 in 4.1, but Stratman tested it. It was 3.9, so I don't know what is wrong with Ram's testing, but this car is just really cool. And this car is not a T-Rex, and it's mainly just like the old Raptor, which if you want to see a photo, let us show you right here. Oh, whoopsies. Uh, dang, son. Uh, here is a 2017 for Raptor. I actually had a this like this photo for my background for a couple months before, and it looked pretty darn cool, if, as I would say. And the new Raptor definitely looks as cool as that, but kind of looks a little bit too like just normal. But I think it the headlights need to be changed, but the uh, so, like, before this car came out, and then, like, F Ram needed an answer to this car, so they built this, which is, like, the next level of this. So then now they have to make the Raptor R to compete against that, and I don't know. It's just mind-boggling, but some bad things about this car, I don't know why Ford still has this antennae. It's just stupid. They shouldn't have this big antennae. Like, you know, people always complain about them. So why not just take them off and go swap it for a little one? And this car has a toe new cover, actually. But it has Oxford White, 801A High, Trailer Hitch, 360-degree camera, Tope Technology Package, Power Equipment, Raptor 37, so you get this big 37 inches of wheels, which includes a cool interior, but there's a suede in here, which I don't really like, but still, it's pretty okay. Not like my dream, dream, like, car. I'm dragging it around with the touchscreen RN, but this interior looks pretty darn decent to me. And one quirk, as I watched in the Doug DeMuro video, you can fold this this gear lever down really easily. And it, it creates a flat surface for you to work on, which is pretty darn cool. And we should also go check out the uh, 360-degree angle view. I don't know how to do it. Wait, I don't think there's a 360-degree angle view, but okay. So, you get what I mean. This car is really darn cool, but I still take the T-Rex over it. It looks cooler a little bit, but this car is still mind-boggling. Because, like, have you even seen one of the old ones? Like, I've seen one on my YouTube channel. Let's just show you guys, RN. And... Uh, so I made a video about the Monopoly Corvette. That's super cool. And I think in... Oh, yeah. Here I found a Ford Raptor. If you have seen one of those huge trucks, you get what I mean. They're insane. And this car is a big truck to go around. It, it goes 0 to 60 in low fives. And I think that is pretty, really cool. And the fact that you can have a truck, you can just go fast, You can it's a capable off-roader, and it just makes a great daily driver. And the good thing is, every time I try to do it, I can connect the two cars I'm talking about. 
uh, this car would be like the perfect race car and everything. This car can be a tow rig if you want to drive it to the racetrack. And it can tow pretty darn well. But it's just like, it's not like the F450 level, but uh, the T-Rex can tow better, definitely. But it's still good enough. But yeah, that's pretty much all I needed to say about the new Raptor. Does it live up to the old one? Yes, sir. Uh, what can be better? Just a like more something like newer. Okay, like they had a huge change from like the first gen Raptor. Like for example, this to the. this so yeah here is like a photo of both of them's first versus second gen and it looks pretty cool and this one offered a v8 but this one didn't so i guessed i would have chosen the v8 and the v8 like it, it still doesn't live up like the, the old one still doesn't live up the new one the new one so it doesn't live up to the first one so that's that and i think they should definitely build something that's maybe when the raptor r came comes out it will have a different styling or whatever but that is it for today's video if you're wondering and kind of rambling right now but this this car these cars are super super cool and if you love these cars, be sure to give it a like and comment down below what your thoughts are. And of course, subscribe to my channels here and here. And click this video up here if you love my content. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. Whoopsies. Bye-bye.